So before performing the first part of the experiment where measurement of the Planck constant and the cutoff metal work function has to be determined, uh, after calibration, basically you have to me uh, click it so that it will go to the measure. Okay. Then <clears throat> after that, first you remove the cover of the photodiode. You place four millimeter aperture. So four millimeter aperture, you can also see it from here. You place four millimeter aperture. Then after that, you take uh, 600, uh, 365 nanometer reference. You place it here. And then you remove the cover of the mercury lump. You have to be careful, it's very hot. Then after that, you have to bring the current to the zero in order to bring to zero you have to play with the voltage okay so adjust the voltage in a, such a way that you bring it to zero okay just a moment okay so you have to play with this one okay keep rotating until you go to zero okay very important don't panic if you don't get zero you have to keep rotating it so I'm adjusting it to zero almost zero and make sure that you don't look at the mercury lamp straight because this is harmful okay so you place it to the zero almost so let me yeah now it's almost zero so you have to make a table and the, in the table, you have to write down what is the wavelength that you're putting. The right now we're putting 365 nanometers, and we have to write down stopping potential. Stopping potential right now is a negative 1.874, okay? Now, once you take the notes of that measurement, again, you have to cover the, the mercury lump. You remove 365 nanometer, you place it back, and then you take 405 nanometer. You place it here back, and then you remove the, the cover of the mercury lamp. After that, come here, then again, you play with it and bring the settings to zero. Yeah, almost, you yeah, bring it to z almost zero, and then write down uh, the voltage minus 1.574 and write down for the second things wavelengths which is 405 in such a way you have to repeat with all of them okay you take 436 you take 546 you take 577 so in such a way you make a one table okay after that once you have done with that one then you cover back the mercury lump, you remove it, and you have to repeat the experiment, but this time you have to measure or repeat the experiment with the diameter of the uh, two millimeter, and then after once you finish measuring with all these wave lenses, then you have to repeat the experiment with the diameter of the eight millimeter aperture, okay? That's it.